Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Magpie Craft, and today we're going to do a how to video on an early game villager breeder. So let's jump into it. Now we're in this village here, and uh, we're going to get started on doing the breeder. Now, why would we want an early game villager breeder? They are so good for upping your game. Uh, you can get librarians and farmers all kinds of you know armors everything toolsmiths and it's going to help you to get gear and enchanted books and golden carrots and all of that stuff that you need to keep your game going and do all the things you need to do in minecraft uh now a few things that i do for my villager breeders is you want to have food a little tiny farm area inside of the villager breeder also beds preferably one extra bed than the amount of villagers you have in the actual breeder. That's pretty much it. So let's get started. I see that there's a lot of these like little houses. What you can do if your village that you find has only little houses is take down another one of the houses and combine, use the materials to combine two houses that are kind of lined up together. But I see that this, this village, particular village has this house here. This, we can make this work. It's not ex especially big enough, but I might be able to make that work just to show you for the video. This village, and as a lot of the villages do, they've got wheat, tons of wheat. So carrots are good for this, wheat is fine. Um, just wanna make sure that you can plant up a little area for the villagers by either planting carrots or wheat. And I'll show you more of that here in a moment. Uh, oh, it's getting to be nighttime, so let's go ahead and, um, why is it, there we go, okay, so what we're going to do is gather up all the wheat that we can, because we want to have lots of food for these villagers. Villagers like to feel secure. They want to know that they've got a lot of food. They want to know that they've got an extra bed for the babies to be made. <laughs> and uh, we're going to give them all the comforts. So let's see here. Ow. Right. I might even steal that wheat. Yeah, let's do that. Right. You don't need this. And actually, actually, be gone. Out. Go on. All right. Let's get tools. I'll be back. All right. So we've got some tools, just some basic uh, wood tools, nothing special. Uh, but it's early game, remember? So we're going to, I've actually decided that I'm going to get rid of uh fail i could have just used this wood to make my tools instead of taking down a tree but that's okay live and learn now i'm gonna actually expand this building just a little bit bigger you don't have to do this but it just means that you won't have to really make it bigger in the future uh, as you need more villagers and want to put more beds, you're going to have that space right away from the start. And it just makes it a little bit better long game. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to take this down and going to just expand this. So I'll be back after I do that. All right, so I'm done expanding the building. I took down the village house next door. I needed the bed anyway. And took that down and used the materials to expand this building. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Not too big, it could be bigger, but it will definitely work to get some villagers going. Um, plenty of space. We're actually gonna take down, I took down the smoker that was there. I'm just gonna take down some of this other stuff and I wanna put in a little farm area. So I'm gonna pull up this these stone slabs and put dirt here and i'm gonna make a composter for the villager that well any villager really to become a farmer um that way they can keep the food going and i actually might make two villagers farmers so let's slap slap some dirt here 
We need um, a space for some water. Would be so nice to have some iron right about now. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Mr. Gollum. I don't have anything that... I do have an axe. I, I, I'd like a sword better. Maybe I'll make a sword. Bam. Right. So, gonna go um, say hello to Mr. Golem here and see if we can't get enough to make a bucket. Three blocks high, people. Three blocks high. Otherwise, Mr. Golem is gonna eat you out of the world. I've had that happen one too many times. Learn my lesson. Don't look at me that way. Oh. Yes. How much did we get? Five. We got enough. Right. Oh wait. Let's 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 get rid of this. We don't need any evidence around. Right? Yeah. Nobody saw. Okay. Uh, let's go. Craft ourselves a bucket so we can have some water. I know I saw water. I think. This way, we're gonna see. Yeah. An easy way to get the villagers into the breeder house is at nighttime, put some beds down and they will find their way in almost always. So let's grab another bed because we need at least two villagers. Sorry, sir. I'm gonna just yoink that. All right over here we're gonna place the bed now something we want to do before we do this is make some trap doors and I'll show you why we just need two so Let me place this bed down and see if I can get one more villager in here. Oh wait, actually I gotta move this so he can come in. Come on in, sir. Now, we've got our two villagers. Yay! Uh, the reason for the trap doors is we can get in and out, but the villagers cannot. It takes away from the, the space and the height that they need to be able to go in and out. Um, I think I will still put, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I have to do it this way, I think. The door's on. Aw, sad. There we go. There we go. Now, the only problem with this is uh, babies can get through that if they open the door. So you know what I think we will do instead of doors? is we will make a couple more trap doors. Oh. There. Now we can go in and out. We do have to kind of scrunch ourselves, but they can't get in or out. Sorry, but yeah, you're out. All right, now I am going to sleep real quick and then we will finish up this farm. Right, yeah, I know, green sparkles. Hey, wait, how did, not quite sure. I I'm wondering if this is a bug with Minecraft right now because this happened when I tried to do this video the last time and I never quite got it finished. Um, there was a villager outside that wanted to get in, but couldn't. And I went to sleep, and when I woke up, there were three. Somehow they were inside. I I, I, I don't know. I, I'm Mo Yang, what, what's going on? And, and I think also as well, it was um, a nitwit as well in the green jacket. So could this be a bug? Hmm. Or is he just magical? Hmm. We'll see. Inquiring minds want to know. Are you magical? How did you get into the villager breeder? Huh? <laughs> All right, place our water. We need the water so that way we can, um, 
and I think I should bring this inside. We need the water, obviously, for the crops to grow that we're gonna plant. Hello? Huh, I need a hoe. Right. And I also need some more slabs so that way, whoops, not trapdoors, slabbies. We're gonna make two composters. So that way we have two farmers. Yay. Yay, okay. I have only one set of wheat seeds. And why did that happen? Oh, light, we need more light. Probably there. No? Oh, you're trampling. That's the problem. You're trampling the ground. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna put these down in the ground here. That way you can't do that. Don't need you breaking the ground all the time. No, now you can't trample them. Woohoo! All right, so the last thing we need is some more beds and some wheat seeds. Woohoo! Okay, so we have seven beds. We have a little patch of farm area for the farmers, and we have plenty of villagers. So what we're gonna do is throw some food at them. Now, because there's seven beds and only three of them, that means they can make four babies. Uh, once they have seven in here, once we have seven villagers, they will no longer make babies. We would have to add beds or take some of the villagers from in here out, and then that would free up the beds for, you know, you would just break a couple beds, replace them, and that would free up the beds for more babies to be made. So, on that note, we are going to throw some food at them. Have some bread, make some babies. Have some bread, make some babies. So they're gonna pick the bread up. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what we go for, do it. We want the babies. Oh. Oh, three heart. Wait, what? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. That's simple. That's simple. Not hard at all. Now, there are other villagers, obviously, who want the beds. There are other villagers in this village. And yes, you can absolutely use them to make librarians and everything. Um, use them. Absolutely. But this is a great way to make sure you have endless supply of villagers for all of your needs. So I hope that this very basic early game villager breeder tutorial helped some of you out there that maybe did not know how to do this, be able to up your game and make a villager trading hall. If it did, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, Tap the subscribe button and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other content, my Vault Hunters streams and Daybound videos and streams. And until the next time, I will see you later. Bye!